going to start by connecting our USB to our computer and then opening up Carbide Motion. Once everything's connected, we'll push the power button. In Carbide Motion, the first step is to connect to the cutter. It asks us to load a file, and we'll take that NC file from our Fusion 360 and load this in. It gives us our toolpath extents, our X, Y, and Z. The next step is to go to the jog menu, and we'll hit continue. asking us to measure the tool length so we need to insert a bit. The bit I chose was a spiral upcut bit from Unoco. Simple two flute quarter inch bit. Make sure the right collet is in place. And we will tighten by using this ER11 wrench and this 13 millimeter. Now that the tool is inserted, we can check our tool length by hitting continue. It's asking us to find our zero position. So we're going to take our block, add some double-sided tape to the back, and place it within our flat surface of the machine. It wants to find a zero, so the first step is to get pretty close to our X and Y. We can adjust the increments so that it moves quicker. We're trying to find the center of the block. We have a little room for error. Once you have found close to the center, you can get a little more accurate. And in this case, I'm just going to demonstrate. We can go by different increments. And once I find what I like, I'm above my part just for test purposes. I want to make sure that I'm in inches, my spindle is on, and once I've found my zero position, I'll say set zero and zero all. Now it thinks that that is the zero position for our workpiece. I'll hit done. The next step is to go to the run menu. And it'll ask us now to run our part. I'm going to take the part out to just do a test to make sure that everything's running properly. That way I don't accidentally cut my part. But let's see if our program works. It's asking us to insert the tool. We've already inserted the tool when we home the machine, so I'm going to hit continue. Measuring the tool length again. Once our job is complete, we can open up the machine and take our part out. 
We've just completed our first loading into the Carbide Motion software, and we can check everything to make sure that it was milled properly.